Welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video and today's example is from Hobbymaster 172nd scale air powered series so it's full metal diecast this is the McDonnell Douglas FA-18 Hornet so obviously this was made by the American aircraft manufacturer McDonnell Douglas um, so the FA-18 Hornet is a uh, multi-role fighter for both fighter and attack roles as you can see by the designation here um, and was uh, first introduced into service with the U.S. Marines in 1983 and then the U.S. Navy in 84. And it's also been used by another, um, a number of other nations' air forces, including Australia, which this particular um, example is from, as you can see here, this nice uh, little presentation box. And it's got the flip lid with all the accessories, undercarriage and everything like that. So around uh, 1,480 F-18s have been built in all variants, you know, A, B, C, D. And... So what we'll do is we'll get this, uh, this beast open. What do you think? There we have it. So as I said, this is um, a Hornet from the RAAF. So it's an F-A-18A. And this, uh, this particular aircraft, which is A2126, was uh, brought into uh, the RAAF 75th Squadron in 1988, where it was assigned. And uh, this particular paint scheme was applied to it in 2005 to mark the 20-year anniversary of the Hornets' um, service. So, and there we go. It's pretty colourful. We've got a nice afternoon here and... The, uh, the sun is starting to go down and it's really, this paintwork's really popping on that. This um, particular example cost me, um, I think it was $135. That was including the postage to me. So we'll just flip this bad boy over. So armament wise it's very minimum because it is a celebrationary um, aircraft in the particular paint scheme that it's in. So it does have... Has a little uh, module that goes in there for the landing gear and a module that goes in there so we'll, we'll whack that landing gear on and this module just slips in nicely like that and uh, this bad boy just uh, slips in the front like so and that's pretty much that is job done <laughs> and it does have a, um, a piece for for here in this little packet here um, if you and it also has the pilot figure in there the cockpit uh, does um, come with a option to have it in the open position so you can change the cockpit if you want to have it open and also it does come with the uh, it does come with the option to have the air brake in the open position as well which just slots in like that but if you want to have the um, the air brake in the closed position you just plonk this one in like that and that's that's job job done as I still like to say so look overall this is a pretty pretty cool looking unit um, especially in it's got a nice glossy finish on this one obviously not a combat color scheme but um, you can see all the nice markings on here hopefully it'll uh, it's not too bright for you hoping it comes up nice and clear you can see all the panel lines there. And the underneath detail is very, very nice. I'm really hoping this comes through on camera. It's, and not too, too glary because this is sort of one of the first uh, glossy paint finishes. Can see the detail on there hopefully but um no overall i think it's you know for me it's pretty cool because it's uh the raaf the royal australian air force so this is for me it's a, a homegrown aircraft <laughs> but um i think overall i think it's a pretty cool looking unit as i like to say and uh if you're interested in the RAAF aircraft and are building up a collection of RAAF aircraft, this is a, a pretty decent one to, to grab. And it's not overly expensive. It was 135 including the postage to me. So overall, I think it's, and it's, you know, it's reasonably sized as well. It's not tiny. 
and I think the detail on it is really good. It's Hobby Master after all. They do do very high quality builds. So yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'll leave it at that, and um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If so, if you can give us a little bit of a like, that'd be awesome, and even subscribe to the channel. That'd be fantastic as well. Really appreciate that. And um, yeah. As you know the deal, I'll just post up some stools after this video without my sausage fingers being in the way. And um, you can check out this bad boy in all its glory. And it, as I said, this is a very, very nice looking paint scheme on this. Um, dear to my heart anyway. So, alright, so once again, this is the McDonnell Douglas FA18. This was the A version. Um, that's celebrating the 20th anniversary of um, the Hornet in service from... Royal Australian Air Force in 2005. Um, you guys have a great rest of your day and um, cheers. Uh, one thing I'd also like to point out too is with this, if you wish to place it on the stand, the actual stand that comes with it does go here. So it means you need, you can only display the stand if you take the, uh, the undercarriage off, if it wants to come out for me today. Uh, obviously if you want to display it in flight you uh, need to put this module piece in as well so you've got these two two sections in and then you just place the uh, stand like so in there and you should be good to go and that's it on its stand as well all right guys thank you very much for watching and uh, have a great rest of your day